everybody, this is Algebra 1, Lesson 25, and we're going to be going over solutions to equations. So, um, we already learned this a little bit last, um, in, last lesson in class. Uh, this, we're just going to be putting together the two things that we already did. So, first we learned how to get rid of addition and subtraction in an equation. So, like 3 plus uh, 3, let's see. X plus 3 equals 5 and to get rid of this we have to undo this addition so to undo that we do subtraction the opposite of addition is subtraction whatever we do on one side of the equal sign we have to do on the other side and then these two cancel each other out and we get X equals 5 minus 3 is 2 so that's how we get rid of addition subtraction is the same way so if we had X minus 4 equals 7, we would do plus 4, plus 4, because po positive 4 is the opposite of negative 4, or how do we get rid of neg minus 4? We add 4. Okay, those cancel. We get x equals 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay, that's how we get rid of our addition and our subtraction. And our goal is to get x by itself. Then we last uh, Wednesday we went over how to get rid of multiplication and division. So if we had 3x equals 12. This means 3 times x. So we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to divide by 3. And those cancel. And we get x equals 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay? And if you had division, let's say you had um, x divided by 3 equals 5. We would say times 3 and times 3 on that side, and we're going to get x equals 15, okay? So we're just doing the opposite of whatever we're, operations we have. All right, so this lesson, we're going to put those two together. So 25.1 tells us 4x plus 5 equals 17. Now, in our regular order of operations, we always multiply before we add, but we're undoing this. We're trying to go backwards. So they took our, our x and they multiplied it by 4 and then they added 5. So what we have to do is undo the addition and subtraction first, then the multiplication. So first thing we're going to do is minus 5 on both sides. Those cancel and we get 4x equals 15, 17 minus 5 will be 12. Now we divide by 4 and we get x equals 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we're doing the same thing. It's just in multiple steps. First we're going to do it, get rid of addition and subtraction. Then we get rid of our multiplication or division. Alright. Let me do another one of those that's not in the book that's easy. Um, let's say we had 3x plus 7 equals 13. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is get rid of this plus 7. What's the opposite of adding 7? Subtracting 7. We're going to do that on both sides. These cancel. And we're left with 3x equals uh, 13 minus 7 would be 6. Now we're going to divide by 3. And we're going to get x equals 2. Okay. So we're just doing the same thing as we've done in the last two lessons, but we're putting it together into one problem. All right, 25.2, they start to get a little bit more difficult. Uh, negative 5m plus 6 equals 8. All right, so first thing we have to do on this one is get rid of this plus 6, so we're going to do minus 6. These cancel, and we, we're left with negative 5m equals 8, take away 6 is 2. Now we're going to have to divide by, this means m times negative 5, so we're going to divide by negative 5 on both sides. These cancel and we're left with m equals 2 over 5 and that's negative 2 over 5. Okay? Negative 2 over 5. And you can just leave it in a fraction. You don't have to turn it into a decimal or anything like that. Alright, 25.3. We have 7k minus 4 equals negative 21. Okay. 
On this one, we gotta get rid of our addition and subtraction first. So you look at the side that has the variable, here's our variable is k, and you look for any addition or subtraction. Right here we have negative four, so we're gonna do plus four. The opposite of minus four is plus four, and we're gonna do that on this side. Those cancel, and we're gonna have seven k equals. Now we gotta be careful here, this is a negative and a positive, so that means we subtract. The signs are not the same. We owe $21, we pay back four of it. We're gonna still owe $17. All right, now we have to divide by seven. Those cancel and we get K equals negative 17 over seven. And you can just leave it like that in improper fraction. Okay, let's try another one. I don't like when they come out uneven like that. I prefer when they come out evenly. All right, 25.4, this one says 11, whoops, negative 11 T plus five equals 17. All right, so here's our variable. We do have some addition on the side of the equation, so we're gonna have to do the opposite of plus five, which is minus five. We do that on both sides. These two cancel, and we get negative 11p equals 12, and now we have to divide by 11, negative 11. These cancel, and we get p equals negative 12 over 11, and you can just leave it like that. You don't have to do anything else to it. All right, so you always get rid of your addition and subtraction first, then your multiplication. This one says 0.4x minus 0.2 equals negative 0.16. Okay, so same thing just has decimals in it. Here is our addition right here, or our subtraction. We're gonna do the opposite of that, so we're gonna do addition point, 0 0.2, and then do that on this side. Those cancel, and we get 0.4x equals uh, 16, negative 16 and positive 20 would be four, so that's 0 0.04, okay? Now we're gonna divide by 0.4 divided by 0.4. Now if you can't do that in your head, you can say 0 0.04 divided by 0.4. We can move our decimal one, and that goes in one time, so it's 0 0.1 is the answer to that one. All right. Uh, 25 point, well, that's all the examples they give you. So go ahead and pause the video and do the practice problems and I'll come back and solve them for you. Okay, we're gonna do the practice problems. I'll start with A. A says two over five X minus three over 10 equals one half. Okay, so I'm gonna look for my addition and subtraction first, right here it is, and it's minus three tenths, so I'm gonna have to add three tenths. And I'm gonna do that to both sides. Draw my line, these cancel. So now I have two fifths times x left, and now we have to subtract here, and we have one half minus three tenths. We can't do that, we have to find a common denominator, so I'll be five tenths minus, or plus three tenths, and that's gonna be eight tenths, and that will reduce to four fifths. So we're gonna reduce that to four over five. Okay, because eight tenths reduces to four fifths. All right, now I've got two fifths x equals four fifths. So we're gonna have to do the opposite of this. This means x times two fifths. When we have a fraction, we flip and multiply. Because remember the reciprocal will undo the multiplication. See these cancel, and two over two cancels, and that all boils down to just one x, and that's just x. All right, now we just multiply here. This will cancel. And then that'll be a one and that'll be a two and the whole thing is just gonna equal two. So the answer to A is two. Okay, let's 
Let's try B. Two and one fourth X plus three over seven equals five over 14. Okay, first thing I have to do is get rid of my addition right here by doing subtraction. Draw my line, these cancel. Now five fourteenths minus three sevenths, I'm gonna have to find my common denominator, which would be 14, so I'll leave that one the same, and I'll change this one to six over seven. Now five take away, whoops, six over 14. Five take away six would be negative one. So we got two and one fourth X equals negative one fourteenth. Five take away six. We have five dollars, we wanna spend six dollars, we're gonna end up with negative one over 14, okay? Now this means multiply. So the first thing we have to do, we cannot flip and multiply this fraction until we change this into an improper fraction. So two times four is eight plus one is nine over four X equals one over 14. Now we can flip and multiply. Four and nine, four and nine. These are all gonna cancel each other and we're left with just X on the bottom. So I went down too low, you guys can't see that, just X. And that equals, now we have to multiply right here. This one we can say two times two is four, two times seven is 14, and we get two on the top, and then nine times seven is 63, okay? So I just flipped and multiplied. So the answer to that one is two over 63. Actually, it's negative two over 63. Negative two over 63, and you can put that negative right there. Negative two over 63. All right, now we're gonna try C. 1.2 equals negative 1.4 plus 20 now on this one, our equals our uh, answer is over here and our x is on the other side of the problem. Doesn't matter, we're gonna work exactly the same. So we're gonna look on our side with our variable right here and we're gonna try to find our addition and subtraction and that's right here, minus 1.4. So we're gonna do the opposite of that, plus 1.4. We're gonna do it on this side too. Okay, see how these are still gonna be equal because 1.4 equals 1.4. These two cancel. Now we're gonna add, so that's gonna be 2.6 equals 20x. All right, now this means 20 times x, so we have to divide by 20 on both sides. These cancel, and we're gonna get x equals, now we have 2.6 divided by 20, and we're gonna say that goes two times uh, and that would be 20, and then we get six, and add a zero, and three. Oh wait, that'll be one time, whoopsie, 0.13. So x equals 0.13, we could write it like this, x equals 0.13. Just like that, okay? All right, and D is the last one, and it is 0.7x minus 0.4 equals 0.16. Okay, so I'm gonna look for my addition and subtraction. It's right there. So I'm gonna do the opposite of minus 0.4, and I'm gonna do plus 0.4. I'm gonna do it on this side, 0.4 and I'm gonna add those together, so those cancel. And I'll have 0.7x equals, now I need to add right here. Uh, we can put a zero there if we want it, makes you feel better. Six plus zero is six, four plus one is five, we're gonna have 0 0.56, 0 0.56. All right, now this means 0 0.7 times x, so we're gonna do the opposite, we're gonna say divided by 0 0.7, I'm gonna do that on this side, 0 0.7. Those cancel. All right, and then we're gonna be left with x equals. Now, if you need to, you can write 0.56 
divided by 0 0.7, we move our decimal 1, and we'll say nine, 7 times 8 is 56, and the answer is 0.8. Right, point eight is the answer to that one. So the homework is lesson 25, and you're just going to bring that to class on Wednesday along with uh, the homework from that I signed in class, which was lesson 24. All right, see you guys on Wednesday.